Okay, today we'll talk about power quality, but this time we'll talk about the power acceptability curve or voltage acceptability curve. There are several acceptability curves available according to the standard. For example, we got semi F47 standard, we got ITIC standard, and we got the old SEBIMA standard. All these three got different curves, and this curve is the agreement between the power provider and the power consumer. Remember my slide before that the agreement between power utility, power utility provider and the consumer. I use this uh, simple sentence, a dialogue between the two, but. Actually, it's not this simple, okay? The agreement between the two parties is much more complicated than this, okay? To discuss this, I present you three different uh, waveforms, okay? The voltage waveform. And then I ask you, which one is the least severe than the others? Okay, is it the first one, second one, or the third one? Okay, so how do we solve this? First, we need to try gather information. We need to extract the information of the magnitude and duration. from all three waveform okay so let's start with magnitude so this waveform here okay is um the the peak okay when it's nominal the peak is around 325 and now the peak is around 100 62.5 I know it's 162.5 because I made this waveform but in a uh, real example or in uh, test okay you need to guess okay what's the peak okay so when we got this uh, V peak equals to 162.5 volt okay then convert this into rms okay how do we convert we divide by square root 2 okay 125 divide by square root 2 you will get around 200 sorry uh how do i delete this okay you will get around uh, 115 volt yeah so that's the magnitude of the first event okay delete this so this event a okay it's 115 volt okay but we're not finished you need to convert this 115 volt into pu okay so the RMS in PU okay is equals to 115 volt divide by the base voltage which is 230 then we got 0 0.5 PU so for event even uh yeah for event A it's 0 0.5 PU okay at what's the duration this is the duration for this waveform it's from 4 40 millisecond to 80 millisecond so that's 40 millisecond okay so we do this for the second waveform as well for b 
event B is at 0 PU okay you can see it's at 0 PU and it's last only uh, 20 milliseconds okay so 0 0 PU at 20 milliseconds okay now C C the duration is from this to here 220 divide by 120 that's 600 millisecond okay the amplitude just reduce a little bit okay so after I calculate this I know that it's at 0.7 PU at 600 millisecond okay so we got three event now 0 0.5 PU at 40 millisecond 0 PU at 20 millisecond and 0 0.7 PU at 600 millisecond so now we try to calculate oh no we try to determine which one is the least severe to answer this you need to refer to the power acceptability curve okay so i know the first event is 0 0.5 pu at 40 millisecond okay let me use this color still red in color okay 0 0.5 pu at 40 millisecond okay 40 millisecond is this is 10 millisecond 20 millisecond 30 millisecond this is 40 millisecond okay So this is 40 millisecond. Alright. And then at 0 0.5 PU. Yeah. Okay. So event A is yeah. A. Okay. Event B is 0 PU at 20 millisecond here 0 PU 20 millisecond so there this is B okay. even C is oh, sorry even C is 0 0.7 600 millisecond that's uh, 0 0.7 at 600 okay 100 200 300 400 500 600 millisecond oh sorry that's 600 second my mistake it's here 100 200 300 400 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Here. Okay. There. This is event C. Okay. Okay. So this is the three event A. B and C. So which one is the least severe is the one that close to the inside of the curve. Okay, this is how to read the curve. Okay, this side is the side that we call as acceptable deviant. okay so this is the the side that we can tolerate 
if the waveform if the event happens inside this curve then it's okay event a and event c is not acceptable in this itic power acceptability curve okay so a and c is not acceptable according to itic so this is how you use power acceptability curve okay sebima got its own curve semi f47 got its own curve i'm showing you the uh, curve for itic okay so i hope you can understand now okay uh, how this uh, power acceptability curve is being used this acceptability curve is actually the agreement between the provider and the consumer okay the agreement is like okay i give you electricity in this acceptable region okay so remember the when i said that when the power is going down then 90 it will not last more than 200 millisecond okay it's actually if it goes down to 80 according to itic it can last up to 10 second 10 second is acceptable uh, for 0 0.8 pu okay but if it's going to 0 0.7 pu then it should not last longer than 500 millisecond okay so this is the agreement okay perhaps one more thing that i would like to add that itic is mainly for um it's come from sebima actually itic itic mainly uh, for computer uh, industry it network okay they use the itic while another is semi f47 semi f47 is for semiconductor industry this is the agreement between the two okay so you can uh, try to figure out how uh, sebima and uh, semi f47 looks like and try to do this exercise get some waveform convert that waveform into magnitude and duration and plot in the acceptability curve okay then you know which event is acceptable which one is not in this three event only event v b is acceptable not a and c okay uh till we meet again bye